Okay, we're back. This is our goal today. Might be crazy, but that's where I want it. Let's do it. Okay. Rubber grommet. what's crazy about working on a boat is you always need something that's not on the boat always I gotta jump down So my idea behind a ram mount is ram mount's not going anywhere. It's going to be around for a while, but the hummingbird base, the the hummingbird base might not be around forever. We'll test out the ram mount. See. Okay, now we need to run the wiring because I'm going to network that one to that one. And I have an upgraded transducer for that one that'll give that one a better picture. But I think for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to power this one. I'm going to power that one, then hook the Ethernet from that one to that one. And it's a, uh, you got to get an Ethernet cable like this, it's, or the dongle. It's just a short little 12 inch, 12 inch um, wire that hooks up. And this is made by Humminbird. And then you got to get the Humminbird Ethernet cable, which is comes in 10, 15, or 20 foot. And that's, that's this one. Then I need to run to that one so you need to buy two dongles one dongle for there and one dongle for for your other unit and then the ethernet cable goes in the middle so for now i'm just going to get power to that one i'm going to do an upgrade on that one an update i mean a, a software update on that one on the helix 12 Gen 1, that's a Helix 8 Gen 4. So here's where we are. We have the Ethernet and the power cable. That's all gonna, that's all gonna be hidden. Hi. 
Next, we're gonna power, we're gonna wire this up, power it up. All right, now we're gonna go put in the fuse. All right. Let's power this thing up. Check this out, I wired the quick connect. There we go. We have power. Let's go power this one on. Okay, let's get these things talking. Right away, it gives me another option. It gives me that option that I don't normally see when I'm not plugged in. So I go there, network. Network source setup, 2D DI, high definition side imaging, chirp, helix eight. Oh, it's reading that. There it is. Okay, let's go to this one then. Let's go to this one and hit menu. So this is reading it already. Network source type. Let's go back a little, let's go. Share waypoints is on. Network. Status. Helix. SI temp helix chirp Oh look at that okay I think I'm getting it Let's go up SI Okay I, I'm assuming this is DI because I'm still running off that transducer. I haven't hooked up the transducer to this yet. So we're just switching over to 2D. We're switching that. I'm just pressing the right button right here. So we should be hooked up. So let's go. Yeah, look, 59 degrees. 59 degrees. It's reading the transducer, see? Boom, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Boom. So let's go. Let's save that one to there. I just press and hold that button to save this. This is why I like hummingbirds. They're very easy to use. Very easy. I didn't watch a tutorial how to do this or anything. I just went for it. User mode. We need to put that into custom. So see how this matches. 1.4.3. Then we go to here. 
Dude, I want to see if I can get this. Those are all my lines. Oh, okay. Wait. Network share waypoints on, off, on. Okay. Source name, temp. Okay, that should be all good. Okay, let me go see if it's... Okay, it's still not reading here. Okay, I want that. Let's, let's just go. I want that one. Oh, look. Okay, there are my waypoints. It just doesn't... It's going to make me get Navionics Plus for this. Chart, map, source, auto. Hmm. So, Navionics Plus, from there, I can't get it to read here. We'll see if I can. Okay, I'm going to play around with this more and see if I can get it to work. I'll get back to you.